gulp at me like that. I didn't mean to frighten you. Oh, <laughs> you didn't frighten me. I was just sort of working out. <laughs> you just broke my concentration. That... You look more like you're all tangled up. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess that's enough exercise for one day. <laughs> Besides, I'm really after this terrific string. I'm working on a love nest for two. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, I see. You have a girl. Well, not really. I mean, I haven't found Miss Wright yet. But when I do, the whole world will hear us singing. <laughs> Excuse me, pardon me. Well, you keep making all that noise and Dragon will hear you, if he hasn't already. Wouldn't you sing too? I mean, if you felt... <laughs> if you felt the call of the wild, but... I would... I would not, if I knew there was a cat nearby. But... but she's out there, somewhere. And when I find her, I'll feel it way down in my wishbone. I... what cat? Dragon. He belongs to Farmer Fitzgibbons. Look towards the house. See if you can see him. Come on. Come on back down here. He'll see you for sure up there. Hey, there's a cat out there. Quiet. Does he see you? No. <laughs> yes. Stand perfectly still. Everything's fine. He's headed right for us. Don't panic. Fast or slow? Medium. Make that fast. Very fast. I have to go now. Excuse me. I... actually been near a cat, I'd be sneezing my brains out. See, I'm allergic to hair. I'm allergic to hay. I'm allergic to hair. I'm allergic Excuse me for me. Mouse, don't worry. <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> See, I'm all right. That's not the reason I'm crying. I lost Timmy's medicine. Ah, <laughs> oh, don't cry. I hate to see a woman cry. Hey, was I great or was I great? Did you see that cat out there all dripping and, and wet with water? I'll 
go back to Mr. Aegis tomorrow. And you weren't so bad yourself. Hey, we make a pretty good team. Oh, here, you dropped this back there. Nobody messes with old Jeremy, boy, nobody. That's it. Timmy's medicine. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh-huh. It is? What? It is? I mean, it is. Well, I saw it lying there, and I said, uh... My name is Jeremy. I'm Mrs. Brisby. Thanks again. I have to go home now. Uh, where's home? In the garden patch, by the stone. Well, do you like me? Of course I like you. I know. No, I mean, I, I mean, um, I mean, you don't think I'm clumsy or anything. What? Ah! Oh, sorry. Excuse me, pardon me. Ah, uh, well, if you're going to feather a nest, you've got a lot to learn about how to treat a lady. Right. When you're right, you're right. And you're right. None of the girls I meet want to get serious. I doubt they'd survive. Huh? Maybe it's my approach. Say, you were a girl once. You could teach me how to, uh, you know, how to... Behave yourself? I'm not that bad. I just need a few pointers to polish my style. <laughs> Jeremy, I have got to go home. Well, uh, uh, let me... <laughs> Let me fly you home. We can talk on the way. Oh, <laughs> no, thank you. I'm afraid of heights. Okay, then we'll walk. <laughs> Bye now. <laughs> oh! I think I got real potential. I mean, girls go for the athletic type, don't they? Jeremy, you're stepping on my tail. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh.